Welcome to my mess. So what I'm gonna be doing today is we're gonna be putting a billet compressor reel into my VF48. Uh, this pretty much applies to any turbo. Focus, you motherfucker. This pretty much applies to any turbo out there. You can buy uh, billet compressor wheels from uh, places like Mamba and King Ugawa, which is the same company now, and then there's a couple other places that make them. Um, you have to balance your turbo. Make sure you balance your turbo, otherwise it'll blow up. Because yes, this might be balanced, but the whole assembly is balanced at the same time as an assembly. They spin the whole thing together and balance it like that. So don't fuck around and get this thing balanced because I don't want to be responsible. Well, I'm not responsible anyways because it's kind of your fault that you're watching my videos, but I don't want to be held responsible or I don't want people bitching at me online being like, oh, I fucking followed your advice and you never did anything and you uh, now my turbo's blown up and my engine's screwed. So not going to be putting up with that shit. Anyways, let's get to it. I'm going to be putting this in here and I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so once you get that little ring of bolts off on the compressor housing, all you need to do is give it a little wrap with a hammer on each side. You want, you just want it to come off fairly straight uh, without bending the fins. Just as a general rule, I know we're not reusing it or anything, but it's just a good idea to do that. So, And then while I have this off, I'm going to be painting it wrinkle red because it's going to look fucking sick when I'm done with it. And then uh, probably might paint the, the rest of this just to get rid of that rusty shit on there. And then uh, as a rule of thumb, this is this is reverse threaded, so you can use a hammer, not a hammer, uh, impact gun, and just kind of go and then it'll come right off. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The torque spec, the unofficial torque spec that I found online is finger tight and then a quarter turn, put some blue Loctite on the threads and since it's reverse threaded, it's never really gonna come loose on its own anyways. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna pretty this thing up and then get the actual work done. And uh, I thought this would be a gasket or something, but I guess I'm gonna have to go get some high temp silicone or whatever they use on here so I can put it back together without screwing it up, so. That's pretty much it. Okay, so I didn't uh, get a chance to show the disassembly part for the um, exhaust side. Basically, I didn't have time to set up the camera and all that stuff, and I just wanted to get the thing sent away. There's a dowel here. I thought maybe you could turn it 
and try to it's it's really a bitch I'm not gonna lie I almost wouldn't even recommend trying this if you're not uh, if you don't know what you're doing because even I had a hard time getting it apart without because you have to hit it and give it a couple taps um, kind of all around and it'll start to move some people can't even get it apart uh, without damaging the exhaust wheel because if you cock it to one side then you'll jam the exhaust wheel and bend it against the housing which is not exactly ideal but anyways I got this thing balanced so I had this turbo VSR balanced that means they hooked it up to a machine just like this and ran it up to about 130,000 RPM and the machine told them kind of like a tire machine where the imbalance was and then they they will either shave the nut or shave the nut on the back or I, th I couldn't see it before but it looks like even though I assembled it they marked the nut so maybe they I think maybe they took this off again and they might have shaved something off the back of the wheel where you can't see it so uh, I preferred to do VSR because they balance the whole assembly while it's still assembled and I hear that these are kind of a pain in the ass to take apart anyways whereas the other ones they take them apart completely um, so it's just the rotating assembly and then they balance that on these two wheels and hook a belt up to it it's kind of weird then they reassemble it so I just think that that's a better system and apparently it's more accurate so that's why I went that route but anyways so when you want to put this back together I use a little bit of scotch bright um, on this surface just to kind of there was a little bit of rust and stuff um, so I just kind of clean that up a bit and same with the inside and then you just line up the dowel with the hole and then you just put it put it back together So now it's time to mount the compressor housing. I uh, d decided to spruce mine up a bit and paint it wrinkle red. Looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. And uh, once it's back together, it's gonna look pretty good too. So um, make sure you mark everything. I uh, definitely cheated and completely forgot where the orientation of this is, but there's the shadow of the washers before I took it apart still on the underside of here and the two close together bolt holes um, I can just line those up in case you forget as well because I totally did uh, when you put this back on just be very careful and keep it centered don't just ram it on because you don't want to bend anything or scratch anything and you just slowly drop it on like that 